हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 951 एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज सम ड्रा बाइक्स ऑफ रा और क्रूड रबर एक्चुअली प्योर नेचुरल रबर और रा रबर इज नॉट यूजफुल इन द सेम वे लाइक प्योर रबर एंड प्योर गोल्ड बोथ आर यूजलेस वी कैन नॉट यूज दैम बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव हार्डनेस एंड मैनेबिलिटी ऑल दीज प्रॉपर्टीज आर ओनली पॉसिबल टू गेट आफ्टर मिक्सिंग सम केमिकल सब्सटेंसेस एंड द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ क्रूड रबर और रा रबर इज डायट इट इज ब्रिटिल इट हैज प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ क्रेकिंग एट लो टेम्परेचर एंड इफ टेम्परेचर इज हाई इट इज वेरी सॉफ्ट सेकेंडली इट इज नॉट दैट मच इलास्टिक वंस इट इज स्ट्रेस इट इज डिफॉर्म इट कैन नॉट कम बैक टू इट्स नेचुरल फॉर्म ऑल्सो इट्स टेंसाइल स्टेम is only up to uh, 200 per centimeter square 200 kg per centimeter square and also uh, its elasticity its uh, durability at high temperature uh, is not possible so these are all the drawbacks of uh, natural rubber in crude form of rough form and to overcome all these properties to make it elastic make it tough soft and also to have strength to sustain oxidation acid atmosphere all these properties are only possible when it is subjected to that is called compounding means some chemical ingredients are added only then we can overcome to all these drawbacks of ara rubber so these points i am discussing one by one so here i am giving some drawbacks and number one pure rubber is as useless as pure gold it has no mean it, it is not a uh, useful and there are number of drawbacks of rubber and these are as follows number 1 a rubber is brittle at low temperature and soft at high temperature thus it can be used only in the limited temperature and that limited temperature is from 10 degree centigrade in the range of 10 degree centigrade to 60 degree centigrade so within this limited range you can use the uh, raw rubber if temperature is exceeding 60 uh, it will be damaged the raw rubber uh, number 2 it is too weak to be used in heavy duty operation and uh, because its tensile strength is only 200 kg per square centimeter number 3 on stretching it undergoes permanent deformation means you stretch it it is not elastic it will be deformed it will be damaged it will not come back to its original position number 4 uh, is not resistant to mineral oils organic solvents and even action of water it has large water absorption capacity it can absorb lot amount of water number 5 a uh, easily attack by strong oxidizing agents such as concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated uh, nitric acid etc uh, number 6 on exposure to atmospheric air it undergoes peroxidation as a result its durability is considerably decreased so the rubber 
I will undergo in presence of fear uh, for oxidation and that's why it is not durable. Uh, number seven, it is also non-resistant to non-polar solvents such as gasoline, benzene, carbon tetrachloride, that is CCL4, and vegetable oils. The desired properties of plasticity, elasticity, toughness, hardness, softness, uh, abrasion, resistance, impermeability are achieved only by the process of compounding. And compounding is addition of lot of different type of chemical ingredients in which the properly weighed amounts of uh, injured ingredients are mixed and then masticated to make the rubber uniform soft and plastic. So, uh, in compounding, uh, following processes are used and some ingredients are added. So, these uh, processes are important to improve the quality of raw rubber so that we can use it. So, mastication, uh, it is the process by which natural or synthetic rubber are softened by continuous breakdown on a roll mill or in a mixture or in a screw plasticator. The roll mill consists of parallel horizontal rolls uh, rotating in opposite directions. Rolls are generally hollow so that hot or cold water can be circulated in them to maintain the desired temperature. The rubber materials forms uh, sufficiently coherent plastic and soft mass after several passes through the roll mill in intermixture mastication is accomplished through mixing by means of two rotors driven at different speed in screw plasticator so a rubber is uh, carried through the machine by screw masticated and in the process an extruder is form of cylinder that is split by a knife and open up to give a continuous uh, ribbon. The latter is cooled and cut in small length to hasten the process of mastication. A chemical called plasticizer is added. Mixing. In mixing all ingredients are weighed and then mixed together in a roller mill. The mixed stock is then processed into a form suitable for further fabrication. The process is called forming which is carried out by calendaring and extrusion. In calendaring, the material is formed into thin sheet. All the above processes combined together is called fabrication. So here, I have already discussed the drawbacks of raw rubber and how we can overcome and improve the quality by all this compounding and different processes with different ingredients. And I am giving in writing also so that those students who are in industrial chemistry section, they can copy down and they can go through it.
once again thank you very much for watching the lecture